Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I got my hands on the new Burberry Her Elixir and I wanted to share my thoughts with you. I've been very excited for this release. As you guys know, I do really enjoy the Burberry Her lineup. I've done a comparison video of the Intense and the original. I'll link that up here for you. And once the Elixir came out, I was super stoked. I really wanted to smell it and I have it here. I'll let you know my thoughts on how it compares to the other two. Why am I only comparing the EDP, the Intense and the Elixir? It's because the other flankers from that lineup don't really share a similarity in scent profile. Those are the three that really do have this sort of creamy berry thing going on. So I'm gonna stick to those three. I feel like those are the main three from the whole range that kind of do actually share a similar scent profile. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, then keep on watching. If you're new here, my name is Yana. Welcome, this is The Scented. We talk about all things fragrance. So if you love fragrance, hit that sub button and the little bell. Stay tuned for new videos coming up. We'll do all the fun fragrance things together and let's talk Burberry Her. So here is the new bottle. I love this opaque, gentle, pink look that it has. And this is a very strawberry dominant flanker. So I will say off the bat, if the other ones just weren't enough strawberry for you, this one might be it. So if you hadn't enjoyed the other two, I wouldn't write this one off because it is like relatively different even though they do have quite a similarity to the other two. This one is amped up strawberry to the max. It does have a prominent vanilla note that comes through really creamy and a nice warm amber. There's sandalwood that's very, very subtle. It really does come through more in the dry down, that sandalwood, and it's just a very transparent, soft woodiness. There's no kind of dill facet that sometimes sandalwood has. There's no intense sharpness or anything like that. It actually is very smooth. Um, I really love this one personally. I do love this one more than the original EDP, which to me smelled more candy-esque. So I have the original EDP here. The original one I fell in love with for that airy strawberry note, but the more I wore it, the less I could wear it. Like the more I wore it, the more obnoxious and kind of candy-esque it became. There's a certain kind of intensity and almost sharpness about this one that I don't feel in the new elixir. So the other thing too is the original has a lot more different kinds of berries. Like you really do smell cherry in here, blackberry along with the strawberry and a lot of more like citrus. There's a, a lot of different notes in here. This one's a little bit more simplified. It's really about the strawberry vanilla amber. That's really mainly the notes that I get with this one and it's lovely like it is kind of like a like a strawberries and cream chupa chups if that were a perfume and this one does to me smell more like perfumey if you will the original one it's a little bit more dare i say like entry level into fragrance it's a little bit more um for people that are just like starting to venture into real fragrances and away from you know, the sweet type of like body mist sort of things. I think this is a great like beginner stepping stone. So a little bit more like just sweet, basic appealing. This one as well is super easy in that sense, but it's a little bit more warm. The amber, the woodiness in here, it makes it really smell like less cartoony. That's the way that I put it. Sometimes like certain fragrances, they just smell like a cartoon representation of the notes in there. This one is less cartoony. Compared to the Intense, I've always loved the Intense the most. It's very hard for me to choose which one I love more between these two. This one is a lot more like truly creamy and it has a more prominent like cherry note. I do really smell the cherry in here. There's no cherry in here whatsoever. This is all about strawberry. The color of it really represents the scent. It is sort of this milky strawberry thing. Um, I know some people have compared it to a strawberry milkshake. I don't quite get that because of that amber and woodiness in here, but I see where they're coming from. Like this color is really well representative of the scent. The Intense to me is a lot more nighttime, sensual, kind of fluffy, almost marshmallowy, soft little cloud. This one doesn't have that same coziness that I find in this one. I love these both though. So just as like a quick little wrap up on the comparison, um, I do think that if you guys didn't enjoy the original Burberry Her or the Intense, this one's still worth checking out because 
I think that they've structured these three flankers really well. They do share like a familiarity between the three, but they do have significant enough differences that if you don't like one, you still may really like the other. And in terms of whether it's worth owning this one and the EDP, I would say no, it's not worth having both. If you already have the EDP or the Intense and you love it, this is similar enough that you probably don't also need it. But if you didn't like the other two, don't write this one off. You might really love it, especially if you do love a creaminess and like a, like a soft, almost like milky woodiness in a scent and you crave a big strawberry. Like this brings the strawberry all the way. So yeah, I've been wearing this for a few days. I really enjoy it. Let's talk performance. The other two are killer. Like people smell it. I smell it if anybody else wears it. I pick it up immediately. I actually find the Burberry Her Original the strongest. I can smell this one for like yards away. I can smell this one. Um, this one actually, even though it's intense, I don't find the scent bubble quite as huge. And surprisingly, I find this scent bubble even smaller. Um, it's called Elixir, but it doesn't actually project massively. It does stay a little bit closer to the skin compared to the other two. This one, I kind of like for that because honestly, with the other two, they can get tiring, especially when I smell it on other people. It's just too much all the time. Um, and you have to be careful with the sprayage on the other two because it's very, very easy to overspray. I wore, I believe, four or five sprays of this each time I wore it. And I always ask my man first because he's always with me. He smells me all the time. I always ask him if he can smell it. What does he think? He actually couldn't really smell this one when I was in a different room. So this one doesn't throw quite as much as the other two, which is good which is good because it won't get tiring. When you do come close, you do smell it and it smells really lovely. And it does last a good eight to 10 hours, which is actually a little bit less than the other two for me. The other two, they'll carry on into the next day. Like I can smell them 12 hours plus. This one is an eight to 10 hour wearer for me. The price point is high for these fragrances. I, I do agree with other people's comments that have said that, these are expensive. Like these designer releases are are quite expensive. Like you're looking at almost almost two hundred dollars Canadian. So take advantage of Sephora's VIB sale. Look for it on discount retails like Fragrance Buy. Eventually it'll pop up. I've noticed that Fragrance Buy has actually been getting new releases relatively quickly lately. I did grab this at the Sephora VIB sale. I got twenty percent off. Would I buy it for the one eighty six plus tax? that it is normally in Canadian. No, I do think that's pricey, but with a 20 off, I'm happy. Gone are the days when you could get a 100 ml bottle for like 120, 130 bucks retail. That is no more. <laughs> it's just the way it works. So yeah, look for discount retailers. I'm sure they're gonna have this soon enough. And that basically summarizes my quick overview and comparison of this new Burberry Her Elixir to the other two. And my favorite ones are the Intense and the new Elixir. If I were to do it over again, I would purchase these two. They're different enough from each other for me. Um, this one, I probably wouldn't purchase. I just can't get on board with something in here. Like something bothers me in the original. I just don't want to wear it. It's just like kind of like, too cartoony strawberry berry kind of scent. I like it and initially, you know, I did, I have to admit, smell this and thought like, oh, this smells like Baccarat Rouge, but that kind of really goes away. The more you wear it, the less it actually smells like Baccarat Rouge. It, it really doesn't smell like that. But the new Elixir has no reminder of Baccarat Rouge to me whatsoever. I don't smell that similarity at all at all. I don't smell it. And I actually don't smell it in this one either, but this is the furthest away from Baccarat Rouge. So if you're like me and you're over Baccarat Rouge and you were hoping that this one doesn't smell like it, it doesn't smell like it. If you guys enjoyed my quick overview and comparison of the three, I just kind of wanted to do a super quick video. There's really not too much more to be said about these, especially since I do have that other comparison video. And if you guys have tried the new Elixir, I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you enjoy it? Do you find it similar to the other two or different enough? Always happy to hear your thoughts. So leave that comment and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.